Welcome everybody. Today we're going to just jump right into this. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into our elements and grab a square frame. So what you want to do once you get your square frame is you want to set it to the size that you want for your middle piece. And we're going to line that up and put it in the middle. Then you're going to duplicate this and you're going to move it off to the side, line it up. You're going to shrink it down. You can shrink it to any size that you want that you want to do and you're going to duplicate that put one on the other side just like so duplicate again and then you're going to line that up and then we're going to shrink this one down again center it up make sure it's butted and we're going to duplicate and put that on the other side and now you have that and like you can, you can make them smaller, bigger. If you want this one to be taller, you can do taller. E any way you want to do it, you can just customize it to fit your needs and what you would like to do. So now what we want to do is go grab a photo. So I'm going to go into my elements, which we're already in, and I am just going to grab a photo. Let's grab, oh, that one looks pretty. Let's gr grab this one. So we're going to do this and put that in each one of these frames. Oops. So now what you're going to do is you're going to line up your photo. So you're going to double click on your photo. I'm going to try to use the top here as my point to make it easier for me to have lining up points because sometimes that's not fun and you want to get it how you want that picture to sit in there. So your center one should be lined up when you get there already. So this one you won't have to adjust because that's where it's going to be because that's how you line things up. So we're going to go to the top here, to the bottom of that center post, and then we're going to line and overlap our pictures and line them up. This is always so much fun. And that one's already lined up, and we're going to grab this one and do the same, go up, Go to the bottom like so. And then I'm going to move it and line it up. One day, hopefully Canva has a feature where you can correct, uh, group all your frames together and just drop one photo in there. I think I need to move this up a little bit. Let's see. I'm trying to use my palm trees as my guide here. As you can see, sometimes it's not fun. This is the... This is the one thing about this that I honestly I don't like for lining up stuff. So there. Let me see how that looks. That looks good. Nope. I want it a little bit. I want to get that line here. Let's look. Yes. Always fun trying to line up photos. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're not. So I'm going to line that up as best as possible. And then I'm going to go check and make sure my alignment looks good. Looks good there. And now that I got them all lined up, what I'm going to do is I got, where is my projects? So in my folders, in my start items, I use this right here, which is a black gradient rectangle. And I'm going to grab one of those. And what I'm going to do, let me do something real quick. I'm going to go in a position and line these up. So I want my center one to be on top. And then this one will be second. This one to be second. And this in the second layer. And then these two on the back. So when I put this in, and you might have to, let's see if it's going to, be nice or unnice. Lock those into place. So if you ever have problems with your frames and something jumps into your frame when you're moving around, you can always go in and lock that. That way you don't have to worry about that getting messy on you and another photo um, plopping in on you. So we're just going to unlock it or go ahead and unlock it. But this isn't doing that. And what you want to do is put that behind 
Hey, it's still locked. We'll unlock it. And then you're going to adjust your shadow the way you want it. So if you want it heavy, you want it heavy, you want it light. We're going to go kind of medium on this one. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go down to the top of the second one right here and, and to the bottom. So now that I got that, I will go ahead and duplicate that. And what I want to do is the same here. I want to go and move this behind that one. So I'm just going to keep my positions up so I can move these shadows. And then I want to duplicate that and we can move that over here to this one. Spin it around like so. Put it on top here. Adjust where you want it. And then you're going to go and find it. Put it in the spot. So it needs to go in that spot there. And you can duplicate this one and do the same. And like I said, you can, you can pull it out to make the shadow heavier or lighter. It just depends how you want it. Okay, where's that spot supposed to go? Hold on, where are you at, baby? Oh, you should be like up under here. There we go. There we go. And like, so if you want to do one side that's like a heavier shadow than the other side, you can do that. It's just whatever your preference is. And then oh, let's pull this one out a little bit more. We want some more depth in that one. So let's go out heavier. So, and this one too. So now that you got your shadows the way you want, that's, that's how you do it. And then if you put it on a black background, it kind of really stands out. And that's how you do that one. And if you want to go and make it like highfalutin, let's go into here. I'm going to grab this. And say you want to do it as maybe your zoom background or something like that. You can remove the background. Let's see. I got one somewhere. Hold on. Let's go scrolling, 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 scrolling. Here. And then you can do something like that if you remove the background and have it like a piece of wall art in one of your designs. I think that's kind of cool. And that's how you do that. And easy peasy lemon squeezy only takes a few minutes. And that's how you do that. Thank you all for visiting. I love you guys. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.